Okay, everyone, so we have three minutes left, two minutes left before we are tunnel 12. And we're just going to be starting on the big upgrades. So when this goes, we will be able to be town hall 12. So on the minute left, we have 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And we have our town hall 12. We can see the boost. We have the hero boost. Um, add up to 5 plus levels. Temporary levels count at same maximum level depending by the town hall. We have the power portion boost for the laboratory. And we have the resource boost which is always good. And a 5 times star bonus for 5 days. So this is awesome. You can see we can click here. And we have the village girl. Your town hall of friends back at attackers. You can upgrade the weapon to make it more powerful. Uh, you can see why this is really good. So getting this level 5 is going to be really really good. Before you, that you can get the giga bomb but before we get on to that we're going to start some of the main priority upgrades so the main main priority upgrade is the laboratory you can see the laboratory goes to level 10 six days and we do have a hammer if you have a book book the laboratory first day first priority laboratory needs to upgrade you have the power portion boost and upgrading the town hall upgrading the laboratory gives you the town hall uh, troops for that level. So when level 10, we're gonna ha use this hammer of building in three two one bam And we can have we now have max troops for our town hall 12 Next off we'll get into the upgrades here um, in a little bit Next off there is the clan castle clan castle as well. It's main priority as well So uh, we do have some new stuff. We have the workshop we will talk about we have the new traps, the new defenses as well, which is the brand another inferno tower, and the traps. The traps we can actually drop the traps right now. Any bit of upgrades we can get off of our chest, I would say. Uh, we can start just dropping the brand new uh, traps. We we'll, we we'll drop all the brand new traps right now. Um, doesn't cost any time at all. To, um, um, it always adds something good to your base so we drop all of the traps get the seeking air mine two spring traps air bomb air mine and a giant bomb so traps are all good next off we're going to go back over to the laboratory uh, i mean to the lake shop and we will grab another hammer of building and we'll save that and then the next off the clan castle 14 days so this is a good this is worth it um, another extra f uh, five troop capacity for your capacity as well and this is where you can start Houdini Lalo or Blizzard Lalo as everyone likes to call it so 14 days not going to be a 14 days hammer on the clan castle in 3 to 1 bam and that it can this can move over this can move over to the mat side um, as you guys may know the left hand side is where uh, the not the mat stuff is and the right hand side is where stuff needs to be upgraded Next off, we're going to go over to the heroes. Um, the heroes aren't really much main priority because they only go to level 55. And you can work on the heroes so easily, in my opinion. Uh, I believe they go to level 60, if I'm not certain. Uh, I believe they do go to level 60. You can work on heroes really easily. But for me, I'm a war player, so I will be starting my, my heroes uh, like every other. Um, but... The heroes aren't main main priority in my opinion they're not main priority like first day they're not really first day upgrades next off the real first day upgrades were the laboratory and the clan castle those are pretty main upgrades next off there are the storages you need to upgrade the storages to actually do what is needed and the dark lit storage is really good as well and the army camps so you can see how it's coming off the army camps are main main priority so we're actually gonna be starting an army camp right now so going to level 14 i believe like, i don't have any more i don't have more medals but i don't believe i know i can buy another one no i can't buy those ones um but so we're gonna start army camps army camps are main priority and they're really really good so give you an extra five so you have four army camps so five ten fifteen twenty that's twenty extra army camp space um, which carries you to 280 so that extra army extra barb extra balloon um, anything that can help you in the army can work pretty well so 9 minutes 14 degrees so it does take time um, 
but it's always always worth it so it's going to level 10 in three to one bam and it goes to max so we can actually move this over to the max side and we do have a boost going on as well um so those can go pretty quickly next off we're at the elixir storages we're going to start with elixir storage as well three million gold so i normally go elixir and gold at the same time that's how i normally go about it uh, we do have loot in our treasury as well yep we have a good amount of loot in the treasury um so we'll start off with that um i believe i have licks in here as well if i'm not yeah i have elixir in here as well so tear all the loot that you can get um in the past and it can work out pretty well for you so you can say i have six million um i have three million seven million elixir as well so we can start off here with the two storages one gold storage and one elixir storage so you go vice versa um, and I get them done pretty quickly. So it's the six day upgrade um, Three million gold in three to one bam for the first storage and three million elixir for the next storage So I normally that's how I normally would go on to storages um, Vice versa if you don't want to do them first day at least try to get them up Pretty relatively quickly because we will need the storage capacity um, And it is going to come in handy I have two builders left, so you're going to be working builders. Um, you're going to be trying to keep a builder. I'm going to see if I can get another um, army camp going. Uh, the Dark Lips of Storage, it always works off well. So, let's get into the laboratory. The healers don't need another upgrade, which is a good thing. Uh, we don't really have much. We won't be have the elixir for it. So, there's different troops you can upgrade. There's elixir troops, the barbarians that do, that do pretty well with the ability of the king and queen barbarians and archers there is the giant not really needed the goblins as well goblins go to max level so you can that goes over to the the sneaky goblins we'll talk about the brand new level for the sneaky goblins we'll talk about super troops in the next video or so um which ones is really good for war or what's not so there's the balloons balloons are really good electron lalo i love electron lalo i love any and um, i would say i'm decent with almost any lalo um once i can plan pretty well the super the war breakers for the super war breakers uh the e drags dragons for drag bat peckless for pack smash uh miners for hybrid wizards just um as well for click clean up big drags for clean up the e drag um army the lightning spells for the zap lalo which goes to max level uh, there's the red spell which is always a good um, upgrade the freeze which is good which goes to max Invisibility spell abilities goes to max at turn 12. There's the poison uh, for the clan castle troops, skeleton spell, bat spell, all different armies. We're going on to the dark lizard troops now. So there's the hogs. Hogs is good for hybrid. Mass hogs. There's the Valkyries. Not much Valkyries used at turn 12 in war perspective. I use Valkyries a lot, I would say, but not much at war. So that's not needed. So the laboratory you want to actually get max. You want to get more of the lab uh, war troops out of the way. And then you can start for farming. There is the lava home which is good. There's the ice column. Uh, like I said the witches for wit slap. Bowlers. Because witches go to max level. And that goes on to the max level for super witches. Which is always good. Then there's the bowlers which goes to max. There is the brand new troop as well. The headhunter which you can all up. At Town Hall 12, there's a Yeti as well, which is Yeti Smash as well. So we have a ton, a ton of stuff we can do. But before we start off anything, um, what I'm actually going to be doing, I'm actually going to go on the Elixir side, the Max Balloons. If you can get Max Balloons, I think this is going to be really, really good. So using the Hammer of Fighting on the Balloons, I think is going to be really, really good. So 14 day grade, not 14 days, is going to be finished in 3, to 1, bam. So having the max balloons, I think, is going to be really, really good um, priority. So, next off for the Dark Lizard, I think I'm starting for Hybrid first. So I think Hybrid is going to be a really, really good army to learn. We do have a, ooh, we can actually buy another, we can buy another hammer. Um, I didn't know I had that much metal. So it seems like metals right now are going to go pretty, pretty well. And I think if I did the balloons, I think, the next logical thing we could do we could do the red spell but i think we can wait on the red spell for a minute and i think the next logical thing we can do is the lava hounds get the air out of the way for me um i like air 
uh, practicing here is not a bad thing. So why not you spend the dark elixir on the spend the hammer on the on the lava hounds? So love so going to a great another thing. Hammer fight on the lava hounds, the three to one bam, and that is air. That's mostly air to the way. Next off, we're actually I'm actually gonna upgrade the hogs. Starting with hybrid as well, is not a bad army to uh, trap on twelve. So eight day grade, um, sorry, going to level eight, eleven day twelve grade, fifteen million dark at three to one, bam, and we have we actually have a book of fighting, hmm, we have a book of fighting, that we we will go we will come back to that we will actually collect, um, whatever loot we can collect. I believe we can't do much with the, um, elixir we have, so this will probably have to run, um, I don't not too sure if I have runes. Um, the runes are going to be useless. Not, I'm not saying runes are useless. They're going to be useless because you won't get any mats. Uh, right now, the storages is going to be the first thing you want to do before you use a rune. So, we'll let the hogs run it run its course. So, moving on to the gold. Um, for gold purposes, you want to actually get these going up. But for me, I'm, like I said, I'm a war player. So, like those big upgrades are something that I would work on. Um, but... For gold right now, uh, you're going to be looking at like the smaller defenses, like probably Tesla's. The Wizard Towers are not too bad. This will be for you upgrade your storages. Um, I believe you can actually try to get the brand new stuff. I think any new Inferno Tower is going to be good. Like it always is playing up damage. Um, anything counts. So I believe dropping the new Inferno um, is not bad uh, for the start. So Max Inferno, new Inferno actually going down for the three days I believe yes three days so you basically want to stagger your upgrades as well I would say the only two staggering upgrades you want the only up two upgrades you want stagger will be the storages uh, you can drop those like any other time and then you will stagger the other defenses um, we do have an army I do have an army cooked up um, I was using like pack a smash um, earlier on and upgrading town hall as well um, is really good um, we probably won't, we probably, we may do it at the end of the episode, we will see how it goes, I'll probably save my last builder and upgrade walls. And next off, we do have one last thing, we do have another defense which is Tesla, we will probably upgrade that another time. But it is a new work, workshop, so workshop really means how you get stuff on your clan, um, if you can get much siege machines. For your clan, if your clan doesn't have seed machines, that would be the first priority by dropping the workshop because your clan mates may be suffering not being able to get any um, seed machines. So I would say dropping the dropping the workshop could be main priority as well. It really it all means for the workshop all means what your clan can get and what you can get. If you can't get work um seed machines. Drop if you can't get it yourself or your clan can't get it. Drop the workshop. I think that'd be a good thing. So let's start off some attack. That we have some. Um, we do have the pack of smash. So and is our max level for Tonto. So we can look. We can look for something stronger. Uh, we can look for higher loot. Like for these five days, you really want to go hardcore farming. For me, I'm gonna probably get a ton, a decent amount of walls then. Um, for this uh, series currently starting off I'll probably give give the videos stagger I'll probably stagger some of the videos and we'll get stuff under me so to me that's how we normally start off town 12 um, that's how we normally start off any town hall level to be honest um, especially if you can upgrade the main priority upgrades for me are going to be my storages number one the army camps if we can get them first day heroes especially and now we'll drop a hero here and there uh, especially the king on the first day i will drop the king um all right and i will upgrade the queen with a hammer um i don't i can't i'm not too sure how many more medals i do have i probably could be able to upgrade another hero but i always try to stagger my heroes as well but there are times i will just upgrade all three heroes especially if i'm not going to be worn for a while um i will just draw all three heroes and go with that but it's always progress. You always want to at least keep one builder, especially if you can upgrade a piece of wall here and there. You're going to realize that you can almost be finished with walls 
as well and upgrade your defenses as well the main defenses i would upgrade um especially if i'm doing war would be my inferno towers i'm not worrying about war rate war uh war rate as well war rate because i am actually i do war a ton as i do as war as much as possible so for me war rate is nothing really so i would always have my oh this is pretty rush base um i think yeah we'll we'll take this one tower 14 like i said pretty rush so why not let's take let's have a hand at it um but the main things i would upgrade would be the storages i would upgrade my heroes as well uh you always want to have stuff going you never want to especially your laboratory if you don't upgrade defenses make sure you have your laboratory at least going um you always want your lab to go um for like i said for defenses with the towers i would always have at least down i would have my archer towers i would at least have my air defenses as well air defenses are actually really really good um it would hopefully be um for air air is pretty strong uh people may not think air is not strong but air is actually really oh that wall break didn't go where we wanted it and uh, air is actually pretty pretty strong air is so so strong so getting air out of the way in my opinion is going to be really really good so the king is going to walk which is actually not too bad um we're actually going to pop the ability warden's ability here i'll pop the king's ability also i'm actually going to jump them in i'm going to heal rage i'm going to free the scatter because scatters are going to start uh you're going to start encountering scatters especially because i do hit higher bases so it always comes so you need to start learning how to face scatters um as well scatters are pretty tricky to face sometimes but if you know how to get around scatters um it's not going to be a bad thing so we do have a ton of peckers on the outside uh, the queen is going to survive here probably the queen is probably going to go down here which is totally fine we can do an attack without the queen uh to be honest but you always want to be attacking you always want to get the star bonus the star bonus is really really good depending on the um depending on where which league you're in um i would say if you want to farm you could probably stay in champions but i'm in titans league so i did this uh part this um thing is gonna be really really good for me uh you're gonna want to farm a ton any new town hall you want to farm like f you're gonna be farming a ton even if you're not like a player that farms or plays every day probably farm till you can get the star bonus and then do some upgrades and let it sit so you can see that we're actually going to be tripling this base even though we didn't have the best of funnels um i would say the war breakers didn't go like to this compartment as i, as I thought but we do pull out the triple um as well decent loot half a million half a million gold elixir and i believe we can hop into another one if i'm not too certain yeah we can hop in another one uh, uh, um, like i said we're gonna upgrade a one piece of wall four million gold so you can start start on walls pretty early i would say um and we're always progressing on the season pass so let's get it to another one um we'll get this star bonus and i think we can do one probably one last upgrade if i can and i think I, we probably won't do another defensive upgrade but we'll see what goes we have, have another base here uh, uh i think yeah we can skip we can find something um hopefully we can find a million million base that would be be awesome but you always want to keep searching find what you want to be honest you don't want to be settling really you don't want to settle for what the game gives you if you want a ton of loot like this you don't want to settle for this it doesn't have much gold you can easily triple it yes but if you want to find loot you gotta you really gotta let the next button be your best friend for a while so this one this isn't bad either but we want to find we want to find something big if we can't find something big um hopefully um it is going to take a while we are in titan so i don't believe we'll be able to find much big so this one is half a million gold half a million that's her uh 4k dark so not too bad but we can find better like this like i said you want to search for what you want this one isn't bad 8k dark so I can, we probably could find more but to me um i don't want the video to be running too too long 
So I think this could be one we can actually settle settle for. This one isn't bad. This is actually a good amount of loot. So we're gonna start the warden. For warden the warden rock. You can go in between warden rock, queen rock. It doesn't doesn't really matter to be honest. It depends on what the base is giving you. And if you want range, range a range troop, the warden is a really good range troop. Um, I believe the warden has the most range if I'm not certain. Um, e drag is working. E drag is probably isn't going to funnel as much as we would like. But the warden, we want the warden to take out that mortar. And then I can start a support breaker just to, just to give off some damage. And now I can start pulling the ground warden here. I'll drop all the peckers, drop the healers also. And then I will drop the net support breaker that I won't go directly inside the base. And I can drop the first rate spell for the bowlers. And we're going directly at the dark elite. So we want as much dark elite as possible. You need a ton, ton of loot. I'll probably want his ability there. I'm actually going to try to jump the packers inside uh, as well. And I'm going to rage and freeze the single. Or oh, one of them is actually still. Oh, it's still alive. We still have a couple bowlers alive. And uh, we do have the minion I'll drop on the outside. We have two poisons. That was probably a mistake. I probably didn't use my last poison, so it seems we need to use both of them. Um, I'll drop the first poison on the queen. I'll drop the next one on the king, so the queen could probably die also. We have a ton of loot on the board uh, left around the warden and stuff. I've got the bullets on the outside. Not the best of bases for the Packers Master, I would say. We probably need to attack from the top. And we do have a war wrecker full of troops as well, but not needed i had these troops a long really long time so we'll probably save those the troops are just probably going to stay on the outside and pick off some storages uh this minion here is picking off some dark elixir you need a ton of dark elixir if you don't if you aren't much of a war player upgrade your heroes if you have the loot for it upgrade them um it's going to be really good um it's going to be upgrading your heroes are going to be uh you're going to you're going to realize the difference um uh, from a level 20 queen uh, or 30 queen to a max queen it really does matter uh, for your heroes and in general you want to have max heroes um, upgrading without max heroes upgrading the town hall without not having max heroes for your town hall it's going to be tough you're going to realize farming is going to be a hundred percent harder um, so we're going to end off this raid here um, the ground warden the ground warden is going to do much um, but we do, you see, we have decent amount of loot. You can do that over and over and over um, to actually finish off most of it. And we got the star bonus, which is good. So we're actually going to collect the star bonus. We're going to be using as much loot as possible. And we probably have to be upgrading walls because we do have a ton of power. Oh, we have, yeah, we have them. We can use them. We have better potions. I'll save one um, just in case. And what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to drop the gold into walls. Yes, weird. I'll drop all the gold into walls. We have three max walls, and I'm actually going to be upgrading another. I'm going to be upgrading another one of these. I believe I can upgrade another one. Um, let's see if I have any loot that I can spare. Ooh, we have some more treasure. We have a super potion. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about training the army right now. Um, I'll just delete that freeze. Don't really need it. Um, we have four days for these, and we still have some of this as well, so I'll collect that, why not? And uh, let's upgrade another um, army camp. 14 days, 9 million elixir, and 3 to 1, bam. So you can see we have we have a ton of work done. Um, two of the um, builders are working on army camps. Uh, we have the brand new in front of the tower, in two days, so we can definitely work on that. Elixir storage is gold storage army camps, which is always good uh, to have going. Um, we'll probably need to be I'll probably be able to keep farming with something else This will probably be I'll be able to farm with or I can farm with something um, a little cheaper Probably some dragons. Why not? Let's do some dragons um, as well and I can probably uh, go vice versa on what army um, I want to use but I hope you guys did enjoy it brand new town 12 uh, Let's play um i think we're gonna do do pretty well it's gonna be a good journey uh for us i'll probably just drop all of those new stuff on the base but like i said i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i will see you guys next time